In this video, I'm going to show you a quick overview of how I conduct keyword research using a tool called SEMrush. Now, if you're not familiar, SEMrush is a suite of a whole bunch of SEO tools and marketing tools. I primarily use it for their keyword magic tool, and I owe a lot of my success for my blogs. I have multiple blogs um, ranking on the first page of Google because of SEMrush and their keyword magic tool. So I'm just going to show you quickly today how I conduct that keyword research. Let's look at it. So here is SEMrush, my dashboard. And what I do when I come in here is start with a broad topic. So I have a serial blog, so I'll type in serial to their search bar. And we'll eventually get to the keyword magic tool, but I just want to show you some of the other features along the way. So um, lots of information here. There's organic search traffic, number of search results, all this good information. But like I said, we're interested in the actual keyword for serial itself. So let's view the full report here. And this is actually going to take us, as you can see here on the left hand side, to the keyword magic tool. And now all the keywords that SEMrush has in their database from organic search traffic are going to show up here. So the most popular one is just serial by itself getting a volume of 135,000 um, searches per month. This is all per month. And you can see the trend over time, how it's pretty much stayed consistent. Uh, this Travis Scott serial seems to be recently popular, so that's why you see a spike here. Um, anyway, keeping going to the right, keyword density percentage, cost per click estimate, um, competition, SF is SERP feature, so SERP, uh, we won't go into that too much, but that's just like the... Um, if Google shows a snippet in the search results, instead of wanting you to go to their blog post, they'll pull that out of their blog and show it up there. And then results in SERP. So the, com the columns that we're interested in are results in SERP and volume. So this is a lot of, a lot of keywords. There's 200,000 keywords. How do we filter through these? Well, that's really cool because they have advanced filters here. And what we want to look for, and this is pretty much the heart of this video, is keywords with not a lot of search results, but with a good amount of volume. So we can add that to our filter specifically. So in results in SERP, let's just say we want to target keywords with at most 500,000 search results. So we can apply that filter and then everything with over 500,000 search results will go away. But this is kind of the finicky part of SEMrush. Get these results in SERP with zero um, very low numbers that aren't really probably realistic. So let's make sure there's at least a thousand results in the Google search results. So that looks a little bit better. We have now reasonable um, number of results. And just for the sake of narrowing this down, because we still have 2000 keywords, which is a lot, let's make sure that there's at least a hundred searches for the keywords per month, just so we're not wasting our time on low value keywords. And that brings our keywords down to 342. So that's that's pretty manageable list to actually go through one by one and see if there are um, keywords in there that you want to actually write about or target. So right here, um, we have Crave Serial, O Serial, Smack Serial. Crave Serial has 12,000 search, searches per month. It's a pretty consistent trend, actually trending upwards. And there are only 272,000 search results. And I say only because relative to serial itself with millions and millions of views, this is a much more manageable keyword to rank for on Google. So I've actually targeted Crave Serial, O Serial, Smack Serial. Um, some of these other ones I'm planning on targeting, but you can see in general how and why we would want to filter down the search results in here from, you know, those millions and millions of search results to just this list of 300 and 42 keywords, we have our best chance of ranking for these keywords because there's not a lot of competition for them relative to those more general keywords like serial itself. So I hope that makes sense and I hope it gives you a good idea of um, some of the powerfulness of SEMrush, right? Um, there is a lot of other tools as you can see down here. All this stuff is what you get. Like I said, I primarily use Keyword Magic Tool and their Keyword Manager, um, but I, I think one of the value points of SEMrush is the fact that it is an upfront invest. It's an upfront investment 
but the fact that down the road, once you organically start to be recognized by Google, um, you'll move up in search results, and over time, you'll grow your, your blog. That's what I'm in the process of doing now, and eventually, whether your, I guess, goal is to get ads on there or get sponsorship, the more volume you have coming to your website, the better. I don't have to explain that to you, probably already know that. So um, that is pretty much how I do my keyword research. That's how I use SEMrush. Highly recommend it. If you want a two week free trial, I have one link below. That's like, uh, because it is $100 per month, that's like a $50 value right there for free. So uh, definitely check it out, see if you like it. And if you do, which I pretty much guarantee that you will like it and you'll see the value right away. Um, sign up for it and check it out for a month or two and yeah, go from there. So thanks guys for watching this video. I hope you found it valuable. If you did give it a thumbs up and if you really, really liked it, uh, subscribe to my channel. I got lots more videos about SEO and hosting and setting up WordPress websites on here. So um, stay tuned for more of that in the future. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.